In this video, we'll be able to recognize simple fractions of whole numbers. Whole numbers are numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 15, 20. They're not decimals. They haven't got a decimal point. They're not 2.5 or 3.8. They're whole numbers, like whole pounds. One pound without pence. Two pounds, eight pounds, fifty pounds, and so on. So we'll try now to find half of twenty. So I've got twenty squares lined up. I need to find half of it. So since there are twenty, I know that half of twenty is ten because ten and ten makes twenty. So I will highlight. 10 of these or half of it so we've got three four five six seven eight nine ten so this is one half so one half of 20 is equal to 10 how else could i have done this so i've got 20 small cubes into halves that would be one ten and another ten and another way to do this would be perhaps to get the 20 and create two small groups or sets and try and place them one at a time one in each group so we've got one in each until we run out and we'll see how many will be in each of them and as you can see, I am going to have the same answer as the one above. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And there are 10 in this one as well. So the answer doesn't change, but the method might be different of how you work it out. So this is how you work out half of 20. And another way to do this would be 20 divided by 2. So there are how many 2's that fit into 2? There is 1. How many 2's into 0? There is 0. So my answer would be 10. So this would be the shortest way then, once you are familiar with all of this. So I could work out half of um, 46. So divided by 2 or shared into two equal parts. So we've got how many 2's into 4? That is 2. How many 2's into 6? That would be 3. Let's say now we try 88. Um, 2. How many 2's into 8? That's 4. 2's into 8? That's 4. So 44 is the answer. And a final one, let's say 56. Right, so how many twos fit into 5? That is 2 and there is 1 remaining. How many twos into 16? That is 8. So my answer is 28 for that. And this is how you find half of a number. We'll now look at quarters of whole numbers. So I've got 20 again, 20 squares lined up. To find a quarter, if you remember, if you recall from the pizza, it was cut in half and half again. So if I cut this in half, I would have 10 on each part. So I'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that would be 10. Now I've got to cut this half into half as well. So half of 10 is 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what I have done, I've cut 20 into halves. And then quarters. So I've got four quarters. So a quarter of 20 is 5.
So one quarter of 20 is equal to five. We can also use another method to do the same thing. Like I've represented here quarters and I'll take 20 small cubes and try and place one in each part. Could have made the shape a bit bigger so I've got five in each part of these so again one quarter of 20 is equal to five I could have created other groups as well and try and place them but the answer would still be the same but what would be the shortest way to do it as you can see in quarters we cut shapes or numbers into four equal parts so that means dividing it by four so 20 divided by four gives me five 84 divided by four four into eight fits twice four into four fits once and Let's try 96 divided by 4. How many 4s fit into 9? That is 2 of them. So we have 1 left. How many 4s into 16? That is exactly 4. So my answer would be 24. So the short way to find a quarter would be to divide the number by 4. Or you could cut it into half and then half again. So let's try with um, 64 divided by 2. So I'm cutting it to half to get how many twos fit into 6, that is 3. And into 4, that's 2. So half of 64 is 32. Now with 32, I can cut it into half again. So that is 1 lot of two that fits into three there is one left so how many twos would fit into 12 that would be six so the answer would be 16 so a quarter of 64 is 16 so you choose yourself whether you cut the number in half first and then half again or divide by four we'll now look at tens of numbers tens of whole numbers so again i've got 20 squared squares lined up and I want to find tenth I want to find a tenth of this a tenth of 20 so that means cutting the shape into 10 equal parts or cutting the number into 10 equal parts or sharing the number into 10 equal parts so if that was um, representing one this square that would get two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty but i want to create ten equal parts so i suppose if this represents a part so two squares represent a part again another two squares apart two squares and so on let's see if i can create 10 equal parts so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 1 10 is equal to one of these parts so 1 tenth of 20 is equal to 2 so that is how we find a tenth of something that is just one way now what i'm going to do i'm going to take 10 cubes 20 cubes in fact and i will put them into sets into 10 sets three four five six seven eight nine ten and see how many i'd have in each set or group 
So one in each that is ten so far and I've got ten left so we'll place one in each group again. Right, so I've finished. How many do I have in each group? That is two, same as the answer that I had before. So what am I doing with these numbers? I'm cutting them into 10 equal parts. So that is what division is about. And it's the same as doing 20 divided by 10. So how many tens would fit into 20? That would be two of them. Let's have a look at 80 how many tens would fit into 80 that would be eight of them how many tens would fit into 60 that would be six of them so it's all about dividing the numbers by 10 